Welcome to my fucking childhood, I spoiled in the beginning, but oh well. So, we tried to do this, what, two years ago? A year and a half ago-ish? And... At some point. Yeah, because every time I hit the stop button, the, uh... The game would just close. So, I fixed it. And... I'm tired of waiting for the fucking remaster of this shit, so we're just gonna fucking play the original ones. I mean, there's 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 still a charm. There's still a charm to it, either way. Yeah. So. <clears throat> my bad. Uh, my first Spyro game was when I was four years old, on a Game Boy. It was Spyro Two: Season of Flame. And I keep looking for Spyro shit ever since. So, yeah, yeah Sp the whole Spyro thing, especially Legend of Spyro, was a very, very, very special place in my heart. But anyway, well, that's good <laughs> to you. Anyways, childhood. Oh, apparently I did this already before? Overwrite to save. In the year of the dragon, in a world beyond the realms, I, like all the others, awaited the birth of the dragon of whom the prophecies foretold. But the Dark Master heard the prophecies as well. I should have hidden the eggs long before, but I... I thought we were ready. I thought they were safe. Oh, how I was wrong. Save them! The Dark Armies have come! Son of a bitch, you know what I just realized? What is it? I've been trying to figure out what the fuck that is. That's a mushroom. May the ancestors look after yeah, you. Yeah, like the ones that are growing everywhere. May they look after us all. Is Gary Oldman still alive? I honestly don't know. Looks like he still is. Though I imagine by now he must be a old man. Shut the fuck up. Thus begins the Spyro Backstory Trilogy with just a little bit of edge and three different Sparks voice actors because good god they could not commit. Yeah, that bothered me. I mean, hey, at least I got David Spade in this one though. I was excited. Well, is it David Spade or David Eventually, Shovel? Eventually, the egg came to rest in a distant swamp. When a family of dragonflies gathered round, wondering what magnificent creature could possibly live inside. They didn't have to wonder for long. God, just that music that played just now. Dude, I love that one so much. That just took me back. What emerged from the egg frightened them at first, but finally amazed and astonished them. Eight, nine, ten. Here I come! 
It was a purple dragon, who they eventually adopted and raised as one of their own. They named him Spyro, and he grew up alongside Sparks, the young dragonfly who was born the same day. In fact, the two were almost like brothers, and a more oddly matched yet compatible pair of brothers the world has never seen. Never catch me this time, purple boy. As for Spyro, he, like all of us, accepted the world into which he was born, believing he was one of them. A big purple one of them, true, but one of them, nonetheless. Oh god, it's got my mouse in there. Woohoo, that's gonna be fun. You can't see it, but I can. Uh, as long as they can't. I see you, my little glowing friend. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Or fly. Matter, little Spyro, you can't fly. Oh, that's right, you walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. <laughs> You're toast when I catch you. Ah, must be tough to lose all the time. Sp ah! All right, let me out of here, you overgrown fungus. Spyro, seriously, let me a hand here, will you, brother? Geez, Sparks, I don't know. Frogweed's gotta eat too. Spyro, whack it! Do something! I'm your buddy! My wings are getting moldy! <laughs> Ugh. Now I smell almost as bad as you do. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. See you later, sucker! So much for gratitude. That's right, Spyro's got fucking melee now. Gotta get that extra hit in there. Hey, that's cheating. We're not allowed in there. Yeah, uh, excuses, excuses. Catch up or give up, Chunky. That little mat gone now. Has everybody seen a giant purple thing around here? I seem to have lost mine. Oops. Man, I could, the, the frog leads live here too. Frankly, we invaded their home. Now nah, they're just an overgrown fungus. You know, this is getting a little boring. <laughs> Sparks! Oh, it's not boring anymore. I thought all you guys was gone. You miserable coward, let me go! <laughs> Don't let him go! Fuck you, Aravikus Silver Chaos! Let 
Let me out of here and fight me like a thing, whatever you are. You pathetic wretch. I've had about enough of you. Sparks, look out! No! <laughs> Was that fire, dude? Take care of him. I gotta report to sender. Howard. I thought you guys last night were just mad at Got his ass. Spyro, I think my wings are singed. Just okay? whack. You almost torched me, dude. Wait. You breathe fire! So I'm just about ready to blow the top off that place and kick that guy's booty when Spyro let loose with some serious flame, dude. No joke. Flames from the mouth. Well, I, I, I was just trying to help. Yeah, with some help. You nearly turned me to ashes, dude. Mom, Dad, you should have seen him. He came out breathing fire. All right? I tell you, it was crazy. You don't believe me. Sp Spyro, tell him. Well, it's true, Dad. I swear. I just got real mad, opened my mouth, and whoosh. Flame City. It's not that, Spyro. I believe you both. It's just that your mother and I knew this day would come. What day? The day when we would have to tell you the truth. So that was the night that Spyro learned he wasn't a dragonfly after all. <gasps> in no! fact, an exile from an unknown distant land. So, you, you mean I'm not your real son? You are our real son. It's just that you came from somewhere else. Far away, where wars rage on and on, and the innocent seem to always pay the price. It wasn't long after that night that Spyro decided to venture forth and find his home. So that's it, huh? Leaving sparks behind the old homestead? Not a care in the world. Don't look back. This is your home, Sparks. But I just found out that my home is out there somewhere. And I've got to find it. Besides, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just leaving you where you belong. Well, I thought I belonged with you. Because I'm always with you. But I guess I was wrong, huh? I'm sure. I'm wrong on a lot of things. You know what? You're right, I'm wrong. Don't worry about him, Spyro. You know how hot-headed he can be. You'll see him when you get back. Now, now, son. Keep your head up. Your nose clean, and use that breath of yours wisely. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. You know what I like about this? It's a totally yeah. different timeline and they still kept in sparks. So, how well, of does course. it was? You gotta have sparks. Spyro left the only family he had ever known and journeyed on to where he did not know. Ah, those fuckers. I get the sense you probably shouldn't touch those.
everything dies. I had a certain button combination, it just fucked me over. Oop. I'm pretty sure you heard it. Badoom. Come on, man. It's right there in front of you. Well, I was trying to go a little bit faster and they kind of backfired. I put down to disable the fucking um, keyboard shortcuts for the controller, but I guess it's still fucking doing it. All right, take three. First try. <laughs> Spiral. So uh, me First and the old man were time. chatting, and this whole belonging thing, you know, came up, and we decided that best friends belong together, even if one of them is purple and does have some weight issues. Weight issues, huh? Well, at least I've never been turned into a lantern. Oh please, lantern schmantern. Let's see what's out there. Some of that. And uh, let's roast us some of this. I was thinking about running ahead. I'm glad I stuck with the fight. Yeah. No, game's a. Uh, game's gonna make you. Uh oh. That's bad. Hey, there's more fuckers.
Nailed it. <laughs> Breathe, Sparks, old boy. Go to your happy place. What in the world was that? <laughs> I have no idea, but I, I'm going this way. Far from it. Which brings us to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. When he and I finally met again for the very first time. Oh, it's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> you're... you're alive. But it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? D do you know me? Where do I come from? W what are you? What are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There are others? Others? There were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all, and our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and grotto are now gone. Overrun by... Temple? What temple? Can you take me? Can I see it? Where I came from, I mean? No, no, no. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you... They? Well, who is they? And, and why did they come for me? Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon. A dragon born only once every ten generations. You. You? Does that mean him? Oh, wait. This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might have uh, mixed that one up. Whoa, that's a little bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. The Dark Army's attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at war. For many years, we fought all over the islands. Brutal clashes with the armies of the Dark Master, who was intent on preventing the prophecies from coming true. The other three Guardians and I led our small but valiant forces into battle after battle against our ruthless mercenary foe. And when we were beginning to turn the tide, Cinder came. Cinder? Yes, Cinder. Cinder was, is, monstrous, horrific, ferocious, a black dragon that fills the skies with terror. An unstoppable force of nature. Uh, yeah, you had me at ferocious. Listen, sounds like that thing that was chasing us, Spyro. Yes, she still searches for me. And years ago, I watched as Cinder plucked the other Guardians from the fields of battle, like so many ripe grapes from a vine. Without them, our cause is lost. Only I, Ignitus, managed to escape. Not that it matters. Cinder now rules all, and I sit here wondering what might have been, what else I might have done. Wow. Sounds fun. I want to hang out with this guy. Yeah, why have you given up? I just find out that I'm this special dragon, and you tell me all is lost? That I have no home no. or family left? I've come way too far good. to give up now. I want to see where I come Everything's from. Everything's fine. Hold up, Don't worry about boy. it. Were you not listening to this guy? He's talking about flying dragons and war and horrible... This is bad stuff, all right? I don't know if we're hearing the same thing. Yes, Spyro. It's not as simple as that. It's true, the prophecy spoke of a purple dragon destined to put his stamp on this age. 
But the prophecies didn't foretell the devastation that surrounds us now. Maybe you're right, but I'm willing to try. I want to take the first step. You're actually gonna go along with this lunatic. Very well then. We'll go. You deserve to see your beginning before it all ends. Am I the only one sane here? He's telling us we're doomed, all right? That's when I go, ah, maybe we should, you know, go back to the forest with the flowers and the fun stuff. Nah. I mean, he has a point, but... but nah. The point is plot. Damn, Ignitus, shake that thing. Good God. Cinder's soldiers must have knocked the other two statues out of place. Heathens. What other two statues? On the other side of this door are two statues just like these. When all four statues are positioned correctly, the door opens. Dun, dun, yeah, good. dun. I was never good at geometry, so what do you want us to do? Spyro, I need you to get in there and move the statues in place. Me? How? There's a small tunnel that animals use to access the caves. Find it and use it. Yeah, animals are... Okay, you know what? You do that, and I'll wait here. No, I wonder what a cave is. Get absolutely fucked. It's so goofy the way how they spin. I love it. But beating them up so bad they don't know what they're well, look doing. At that. Hey, did you say you were gonna stay behind? Hey, win and doubt break it, right? Go nuts. I wonder if they ever remake this. Don't take away that goof. Cause it's just funny. Spock says he wants to uh, change his mind. The uh, original draft for that line from the uh, one Katy Perry song. You change your mind like Sparks changes voice actors. Okay, Elm Wand. Coming in from off camera, I think you're I think you're fancy. Oh, we missed the joke. Any trouble? A little insect trouble. N nothing I couldn't handle. Little insects? My tail section. Funny. What? Wait for it. Door stuck! The pass is prelude to model Door the stuck. promise. Door stuck! Allow us entrance. Do not reject us. Are you making that up? It should open for us. 
there is a disturbance. It seems my fears have been realized. They desecrated the interior as well. Guess we'll have yeah, to I... open it the old-fashioned way. Make your way through the connecting rooms, restoring every statue you can find. Hey, you know what? Let's don't and say we didn't. Why don't you do it? You want my help? Well, well. Hop up. All right. The old guy's coming to life. Careful, Spyro. Zinder's forces are surely on their way. Oh, goody. Ooh, take a gander at this. I'm taking a gander. Back at it! Hey, Spyro, what was that about? I don't really know. I just felt like I had to hit it. And when I did, the power of a thousand suns surged through my body. Right. Okay. Well, you know what? You should really sleep better. You know, I'm gonna stop bugging you. You really need to get eight hours. Forget I said. Okay, that. game. Don't call me out. Fuck you. What is this it, right? Well, considering they're banging out of the shield, I think this is the right way. Video D&D players, if you ever stuck for a character name, just play this game for a bit and keep running into enemies till you find a good one. Pretty much. How many names are in this fucking game? I'm pretty sure it's like Visceral when they get first and last names and just randomly generate them. Pretty much. Like, that's my guess. They're Elmwan Forestbone. Perfect name for a bard. Be like an elf or something. Hey, now it's 2,000 suns. Yeah, you should really forget something, buddy. Now it's 3,000 suns. Eight hours, bud. That's quite an entrance, young dragon. There might be hope for us yet. What are these things? These are spirit gems. A gift from the ancestors. What kind of gift? A gift that speaks across generations. A gift that empowers you with the spirit of the past. Strengthening you with the wisdom of the ages. I feel more powerful already. Damn it, you can't skip that. I'm doing some real shit with the camera. You hear that? What is it? Exactly what I feared. Look, Spyro. Perhaps we should turn back. What? After coming this far? If this door is closed, it means there are intruders behind. It's how the temple protects itself. Uh, yeah, How'd that work out? Too well, does it? So, what are you saying, Ignitus? Wavelength. What I'm saying is the only way the door will open. Don't say it. As if the intruders are kicked out of there. Didn't I he just say don't say it? What if he hit that wrong? It wasn't me. Run, bitch. Now I gotta hit all these. Cover.
Dodging motherfucker. Ah, uh, yes. Sleeping by explosives. Good idea. You buddy didn't even warn you at all. Would've been nice for a heads up. Oh, well, he's dead. Almost missed one, too. We nabbed your guardian buddies, but you managed to escape our clutches. Until now. Stand back, Spyro. And let me show you what a dragon trained in the ancient ways can do. Guy's got some moves. Are you okay, Ignitus? Yes. As I get older, it takes longer to recover. Look at all those experience sitting there. Ignitus. Can you show me how to do it? I want it, I want it! Patience, young dragon. Soon enough, you'll learn all I have to teach. But right now, you must fight. Again? Did you see the shadow of an enemy? Ah. Yes. Oh, well, he's on the ground. Done so. If Cinder's forces were here, there would certainly be more of them in the temple. Oh, goody. They won't be there for long. Wonderful, now he's getting cocky. Well, that attitude somewhere. Thank you. 
Get fucked. Ah, home. Sweet home. with mystical claw energy. Uh, oh, it's that one. Ayo? Ayo! Hooray! Now we gotta wait for Bozo. Ooh! Come on! Come on, buddy! Come on! Work, the, work those legs! Ow. Move those hips! Ow! 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 Wow! Damn here. Spyro, we're not in Kansas anymore. What's Kansas? Good question. Perhaps they have a a realm in their universe that just so happens to be called Kansas. Ah, uh, what happened? To PNGs. You? This is what Cinder has done. Put all the islands under her iron rule. I wanted to see where I came from, but I didn't know it was going to be like this. Yeah, no offense, but this place is a bit of a dump. This was once our home, Spyro. Together we can make it our home once again. Reclaim what's rightfully ours. What do you mean? I mean that my time for heroics is past. But with your help, we might be able to beat Simna. I can't, Ignitus. I just learned what I am. You can, Spyro. You can. You are a purple dragon. A very special creature. You've given me hope again. And now it's time to give hope to all of them. I'm not sure what help I can be, Ignitus, but... I'll try. I'll try. Good. That's all I can ask. Now come with me. I have something for you. The style you used earlier is crude, archaic, and obvious. But you got the job done. Not Damn bad. Right. Considering you haven't been taught anything about what it means to be a dragon. Thanks, I think. But if you're going to have a chance against Cinder and her army, you're going to need to learn a lot more. Oh good, school. Unlike any school you've ever known, young friend. Now, it's time to unleash the true dragon within you. Each of the Guardians is master of an element. I, as you may have surmised, am master of fire. Pay attention, and you may be someday too. Let's begin. 
You seem to have learned the ability to breathe fire on your own. That's very impressive. And Yep. Yep, yeah, we got the point now. Let's burn shit. Burn! Burn, baby, burn! I got no limited mana. You are so fucking dead. Very good, young Spyro. Spyro, come here. This time, see if you can chase them down with your fire breath. Oh! I got another one. Take that, dummy. Oh, you awaken my hopes once more. Come over here. Spyro, you must learn that they Just some XP. Just getting started. Over here. Knocking enemies up into the air. Press and hold. Many opportunities for oh, you know what I've been doing? <laughs> As of this. Wow, I actually won. Awesome. I'm a winner. This way. Oh, so cool. Man. Let us see. What am I doing? Press X to jump. With your abilities. I like how I said peek at the jump. Yeah, right. It's whenever you feel like it. Right at the fucking ground. You did it. Short hop, baby. And now it's time to move on. And now we wait, Dash. Spyro, come here. Let us continue. Yep. Yeah. Oh, big, big combo. Wrong one. Oh, gotta wait now. Fuck. Fuck you, I still did it. That's it. That's it. Come over here. Yep. Let's What's try next? another. Oh, what I've also been doing. Get fucked. Wait till I tell the folks about this. Over here. Conserve your energy. And Dragon can do. Boop, 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 boop. This way, oh Marv one. An off-balanced enemy can be very. Ah oh, yes, aiming. Nailed it. Still nailed it. Now you're ready to proceed. Spyro, come here. Let's see if you can successfully not. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Any streaker? I imagine that was your strike. Succeeded. But you're far now it's not the time for yet. bowling, Spyro. Now it's time for saving the world. Come over here. Spyro, you have taken tremendous. Aha! I knew you had it in you, Spyro. Over here. No bullies. Mix it up. There. <laughs> Oh, 
So far, so good. We just stuck our face. Now in for the real challenge. Didn't, didn't even flinch. This way. Oh, now fuck! I'm in the middle. You have demonstrated the ability to. You just cheese this. There you are. Rises up the, out of the ground like that reminds me of that one bit from Twilight Princess. If you've played it, you know. No, I don't know. Too bad. Get some culture. I'll I'll get culture whenever they remake these games. So what's with the poor big guy? If you must know, certain dragons have the ability to see visions, the thoughts, memories, and dreams of others and to see what's happening in places far, far away. I am one such dragon, and in this pool, the visions come forth. Oh, really? Is that so? Okay, what am I thinking now? What am I thinking now? <laughs> okay, now. Now. Now, no, now, no, now, no, now, no, now, no, 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 no. I'm afraid it's not that easy, Sparks. This is just the it dynamic takes time, between you and me. Mm -hmm. Reflection and patience. What I do see in the Pool of Visions is that Voltia, one of the Guardians, is being held on Dante's freezer. Spido, while I look for details on the others, I want you to venture there and find out what you can. Remember, just look around. If you encounter Cinder, run. You're not ready to face her. I know, you won't. Okay, so when people are trying to kill me, I run? Got it. But Ignitus... How do we get there? I'm glad you asked. Why are you smiling? I don't like it. Let me get this straight. You're saying that I can fly? Nope. Maybe you've been it, hanging it, in those caves a little too yes. long, old man. Spyro can't fly. We all know that. Okay, Ignitus. Yeah. A bit of fresh air might do you good. I've, I've never flown in my life. Please take me to dinner it's first. You. We'll be getting some fresh air, Spyro. Now, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and empty your mind. And yes. somehow he made it outside. Yes, that's it. Now feel the power of your ancestors coursing through your body. In times of crisis, they will come to you and teach you. Unlocking powers you never knew you had. Boy, this I gotta see. Just forget everything you ever thought you knew. Forget yourself. Forget everything except Only fine dining and breathing. You remember what your ancient blood already knows. You can fly. Oh, this fucking music. I feel like a kid again, I ain't gonna lie. A very vulgar kid now. <laughs> That's just kids nowadays. Yeah. Oh, 
Are you kidding? He's flying! Welcome to the club, big guy! Would that be the annoying pest club? No, smart Alec, the flying club. Yeah, I could get used to this. Spood! A oh, no spood. Spood! No spood. Spool boost! No spool boost. He's doing all this without flapping his wings too, that's impressive. Some good wing control. Do a barrel roll. I just did two, what more do you want from me? Now I can see the asset box. Hey man, it's the PS2. They did the best they could. It did. Or the GameCube if you're playing if you're playing that version. I love how they're shooting the fucking cells. Oh, That's the cannon boys. This is funny, they're shooting themselves. Oh damn, they don't count yet. Does it count now? Yes it does! I love that there's a screaming. I didn't sign up for this! You should have read the fine print in your contract! What the fuck? Oh, I'm in the wrong button. Motherfucker! Kick ass, son of a bitch! Wee wee! I'm gonna be missing health now. I took a couple boobos. Dante's freezer is a desolate Arctic expanse that's littered with the machinery of war. Soldiers and weapons frozen forever in the posture of destruction. You must find Voltir before he's lost forever. How the heck do I land? Coming in too fast! This doesn't look good. Incoming! That's gonna hurt. Ah! Nice landing, Ace. Yeah, maybe this flying thing ain't for me. Well, it sure doesn't help that you're carrying all that weight. You know, throw a salad in every once in a while. You might be okay. Yeah, I, I think I'll stick to the ground for a while. Good idea. Not exactly a friendly place, huh? Wonder where we should start. Well, I'm no hero like you, but maybe we should take that clearly marked path that leads to the interior? Yeah. 
That sounds good to me. Is it weird that that blinked at me? Just keep moving. Ah! Ice cubes alive! Nothing on his cubes! <laughs> You should probably stop it there. It's only many histories. Well, you know what to do. Yes. So, thank you for watching this first episode of The Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. Make sure to hit like if you enjoy it, subscribe if you want to see more, links to our socials in the description as always. Check out our merch store as well. We have cool stuff like desk mats, cushions, and what have you. And join us next time where we check out Dante's Freezer. Yep, that's, uh, we weren't subtle about that one. But, uh, oh well. Gotta do what we gotta do to save the world. <laughs>